Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we have the QBZ 83 and we're only using this because somebody actually suggested to use a max damage build for it, and uh, that's exactly what we have in store for you guys. I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys. It's not the best weapon in the game by any means, not even close to being the best weapon, but it's a fun weapon to use. And uh, honestly, if you guys run these attachments on it and maybe a few more, you guys will definitely be able to stand your ground with us. So without any further ado, guys, let's get right into the class setup. All right, to kick things off, we have the agency suppressor. It's going to keep us off the radar. It's also going to help with that vertical recoil control. And as you guys can see here on screen, we are actually going to lose a little bit of damage range and bullet velocity. But even with those negative effects with the uh, agency suppressor, this thing has extremely good damage range and extremely good bullet velocity as well. Moving on to the barrel, we have the 15.5 inch task force barrel. It's going to give you the, the maximum amount of damage that you guys can possibly get with the QBZ. It's going to increase our damage by 6% our effective damage range by 50 percent and our bullet velocity by 50 percent as well as you guys can see here on screen we're doing about 34 damage per shot which is pretty much all you're going to get out of the qbz it's not like i said it's not a real good weapon but guys 34 damage is going to be all right and it's gonna you know be able to kill quite a few people as well all right for the four grip we get the field agent grip it's going to virtually get rid of most of the recoil that we have on this gun it's going to give you a three percent increase in vertical recoil control and a 16 percent recoil or increase in horizontal recoil control and as you guys can see here on screen both of those are pretty solid very very easy to use that vertical recoil is still a little high but guys as long as you guys know anything about recoil control you're gonna be just fine all right for the magazine we got the Sabo 50 round fast mag this is 50 rounds obviously the biggest magazine for the qbz and on top of that it does reload extremely quick and if you guys see here on screen it does take our ads speed down a little bit but we're still getting a 268 millisecond ads speed which is really solid guys and uh, honestly if you're if you're like sub 300 milliseconds you're gonna be just fine with ads speed and on top of that like i said 50 rounds reload quickness is about 1.6 seconds extremely good and then both of our, our max starting ammo and ammo capacity are both going to be going up as well all right last but not least we got the airborne elastic wrap it's going to increase our ads speed by 30 percent it's also giving us a 90 percent increase in flinch resistance which virtually means you have no flinch whatsoever so anytime you're getting shot at while you're shooting or adsing your gun's not going to be bouncing up in the air if you guys played any of the older CODs, you guys know that this is huge in the older CODs. That's why a lot of people used to wear toughness and whatnot. If you didn't wear toughness in some of the older CODs, it was really hard to keep your shot on target. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to pretty much wrap up our QBZ class up for today's video. Like I said, we had a, a viewer here that wanted us to use it and pretty much showcased a max damage class up for the QBZ. Honestly, this is the class up I came up with. I, I think it's pretty solid. I don't really think the QBZ is a top tier weapon. But, I mean, guys, if you guys run these attachments, you're going to be able to hold your own with it. Anyways, I do hope you guys do enjoy the video. And if you guys do enjoy it, make sure you guys smash the like button, comment down below. If you guys are brand new to the channel and want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys also subscribe with those post notifications turned on. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Deuces. All right, fellas, we're going to get any, like, decent game modes or maps. This is literally the only thing I could find. So we're going to be on Jungle TDM right now and... uh we're gonna be using the max damage QBZ 23 here or 80 is it 83 QBZ 83. Oh my god, there's a guy right there. Ooh. Alright, give me that little collab with the QBZ. Like a couple guys going into uh, the village. You know what? We had we had to throw the chopper gunner on though. You can't you can't play jungle without a chopper gunner. It's just tradition. Only downside is I'm kind of low on ammo right now already. Is there any uh any ammunition around? I don't think there is. Oh yeah, we we just picked some up. Let's go. There's one up in here. I think he's actually in the yeah. So it sounded like. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is a. Uh, oh, this thing's actually doing some damage though. Not the best gun in the game by any means, but I had somebody that wanted me to use it, so we're gonna use it. Go ahead and get that kill. I feel like I'm moving really slow though with it. And this is only five attachments, so I guess I could always run uh, the, the whole eight attachments and put a stock on it. I don't know how he lost that gunfight, though. I'm going to be straightforward with you. Uh, he, I guess he got a headshot on me. It's kind of uh, unfortunate. I really want to get this chopper gunner, though. If we can get this chopper gunner, that'd be great. Because uh, if you guys remember anything from the older CODs, like BO1 and stuff. I think BO1, yeah. Chopper gunner on 
jungle was it. I mean guys it was just broken there's really nowhere to really get cover from it which is why it was such a good match oh let's go ahead and stem up real quick make sure there's nobody up there really wish we could have got like domination or something but like i said i could not find a uh, better game mode Lobbies were kind of dead this morning, so. A couple guys up here. It's that same dude, that Noob King. He just keeps frying me. What's he using? Milano? Man knew I was coming too. Three aimed at. Good read. At least I think it was a read. All right, let's let's go ahead and climb this. I really want to get this new king because this kid's killed me a few times. That's it, that's him right there. Oh no, there was another one. Uh, it's the only thing I hate about TDM. Like this is why I wish we had domination because I could read the spawns a lot better. They're not gonna spawn just like right there, you know. Apparently the guy's gonna be in my back. <laughs> Started off really solid, but these last few uh, lives here, we've uh, we've kind of struggled a little bit here, mostly due to the spawns in this positioning. Go ahead and just toss that down there. Go ahead and pick that dude up. My aim assist was getting. There we go. Oof. Apparently, my bullets were not getting very much reg right there. It's all good. We do got a thresh here. I'm trying to I'll shoot this dude so I'm a little bit closer. All right, there we go. Now we got the advance up, so we can kind of see where they're coming from. Definitely helps out a ton, that's for sure. We got a dude up here. What is that bullet rig? What is that parachute? When do we get parachutes? Hey, what? Y'all, you guys saw that, right? I guess I never realized that on this map since they've released it. Because I haven't played it a whole lot since they've released it in the... Wow. There we go. We got the chopper gunner. Let me see if we can grab a couple kills here, though, because we... you're really going to block the stairs, dude. You're really going to block the stairs, my man. Uh, how unfortunate. All right. We'll go ahead and call this in because I don't know where these guys are at. Can I lay down? Thank you. Thank you. You're gonna see why the chopper gunner was so busted on this map because you could there's literally no cover As long as spawn protection doesn't protect them all the time. We're gonna be golden We love to rain hell down on them with this <laughs> Only thing is on this game, the, the little squares that show you where they're at are really tiny. So a lot of the guessing game here. They finally, they finally got me. All right, let's let's uh, let's move on here. Like I said, QBZ is definitely not the best gun in the game, but it's solid. And this build I have is it's max damage and it's gonna keep you off the radar. There was a dude above me, but 
We'll wrap around here. I don't think my teammates have gotten a single like UAV or anything. To really help us out here. Kind of unfortunate. Go back up on the cliff. I'll, I kind of want to see if this parachute will deploy with me on it. Oh, it does! Oh, I thought I killed him. I thought I killed him. Wow. Getting joked out here a little bit. Oh my lord, was he? Oh, the timing. The timing. KBG, like I said, not the best weapon in the game by any means, but if you guys want to have a little bit of fun, it's not like a terrible weapon to have a little bit of fun with, you know? I definitely feel like it has a lot of potential. I and mean, if you guys want to take the radar, the, the suppressor off, I'm sure it'd be actually just fine without the suppressor. The only reason I have the suppressor on is to keep me off the radar. On like bigger maps like this, I kind of like to stay off the radar. Oh no, they got an attack helicopter. Jobs are good. Well done, chaps. Make your way to X -Bill. There's a guy coming up the side. Oof. Yeah, I don't know how we survived this. Right there, the QZ absolutely melted those kids, though. I'm not gonna lie. That was lower match, just because it's a jungle, bigger map. But not bad. You guys could also throw a side on. Like I said, this is a five attachment class setup. If you guys do put the eight attachments on it and want to take away some of your perks, it'll be a lot better class setup.